वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 5.115 इस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर फाइव एनालिसिस एंड डिजाइन ऑफ बीम फॉर बेंडिंग एंड द बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटेरियल बाय बेयर एंड जॉनसन सिक्स एडिशन एंड द टॉपिक दैट वी आर कवरिंग इज सिंगुलरिटी फंक्शंस और इट इज आल्सो नोन एज मिकॉलेज मेथड सो स्टेटमेंट इज अ बीम इज बींग डिजाइन टू बी सपोर्टेड एंड लोडेड एज शोन यूजिंग सिंगुलरिटी फंक्शन find the magnitude and location of maximum bending moment in the beam and in part b knowing that allowable normal stress for the steel to be used is 24 ksi find the most economical wide flange shape that can be used so you can see this is a simply supported beam with a pin support and roller support at both ends and there is a distributed load of 3 kips per feet over a length of 15 feet and there is a point load of 22.5 kips at a distance of 3 feet from point a so you have to find uh, the location magnitude and location of maximum bending moment using singularity function and then you have to choose the most economical wide flange shape so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you remove this pin support so you will be having a re vertical reaction force let like this is ay and there is a horizontal reaction force which is equal to ax and if you remove this roller support so you will be having only vertical reaction that let like this is cy so first we will find this by using equation of equilibrium so what we will do is that we will convert this distributed load into point load so when you convert this distributed in load into points load so you have to multiply this load 3 kips per feet with the total length which is 12 plus 3 and that is equal to 15 and that is 75 kip clear now you can apply the equation of equilibrium so we will apply equation of equilibrium that sum of all moment about point c is equal to 0 taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so at this point c the first moment is this 75 and perpendicular distance is this is half of 15 which is 7.5 and this is producing counter clockwise moment so it will be positive so i will write 75 multiply by 7. Point, uh, 5 7.5 because it is acting at a distance of half of 15 which is 7.5 feet and let me correct is 3 multiply by 15 is 45 not 75 so this is 45 okay the second moment that is produced due to this 22.5 kips load and perpendicular distance is 12 feet and this is also producing counter clockwise moment so it will be positive so i will write plus 22.5 into perpendicular distance is 12 and the last load that is producing moment about point c is ay and perpendicular distance is 15 and it is producing clockwise so it will be negative so minus 15 times ay the sum of all moment about point c must be equal to 0 so when you solve this you will get this ay will be equal to 40.5 kips that is acting vertically upward now you can find ax by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to 0 and force toward right side is taken as positive so only there is a horizontal force ax there is no other force so it means that ax is equal to 0 now we will find this ry by u cy by using this equation of equilibrium so you can see ay which is upward that is 40.5 minus this 22.5 kips load 22.5 kips load minus 45 plus cy is equal to 0 so from here you will get cy will be equal to 27 kips okay now you have all these reaction forces so we what we will do is that we will find uh, shear force equation and bending moment equation by using singularity function so for that you can see we have this table that is shown over here i will show it in the book 
This is the table that is basic load and corresponding shear and bending moment is expressed in term of singularity function. So what we are doing is that we are only using, we have point load and distributed load. So we are using this uh, graphs for finding and these are the equation shear force and bending moment equation for point load and shear force and bending moment equation for distributed load. So I have copied over here. So let me uh, show you here. You can see I will write shear force equation, shear force equation using singularity function. So starting from this left side, you can see we have vertical reaction force, which is a y. And you can see for the point load, the load is acting downward. So shear force equation is minus p into x minus a power zero, where a is this distance. So for this a y, we have a is equal to zero. And this load is upward. So I will write this v will be equal to a y, which is 40.5 into this is the equation x minus a so a is equal to zero so x power zero now we have this moving from here we have 22.5 kips load and this is acting downward so we will use this equation but but that p will be positive so plus 22.5 into x minus now a is here is three feet so I will replace it with three and that is power zero. Okay. The other thing is that you, you can see you have a uniformly distributed load of three kips per feet. So this is the diagram and this is the shear force equation. So this distributed load start from at a distance of A and the shear force equation is this one. The load is downward. So this is minus w so here you can see a this distributed load start from the start till the end clear so a is equal to zero for this so i will write minus w is uh, three kips for per feet so three into x minus zero power one and the last term is see why we will neglect it because we are starting from left side and moving toward and always you have to neglect the last term because this will give you zero if i include it so i will write plus c y into x minus a x minus a and a is total 15 because this is acting at this point so this is a so that is 15 feet so that is power zero again you can see that for x is less than or equal to 15 this term will be this term will become zero because anything that is negative inside this Macaulay bracket will be considered as zero so if x is less than 15 this term will be zero or x is equal to 15 this term will become zero so we will neglect this let me remove this that is only for your understanding purpose now we will going to find the bending moment equation so bending moment equation using singularity function okay so let me write it over here. So this bending moment equation will be equal to now starting again from the left side, you have a y load. So the moment equation is this one for this load is downward. This is negative. So I will write positive. So a is a y is 40.5 into x minus a. So for this a y load, a is equal to zero because it is starting from the start. So this power one. Now the second load is again 22.5. So I will write plus 22.5 into x minus a is three feet. So three power one. The third load is distributed load, which is three kips per feet. 
so for distributed load you can see the moment equation is this one so minus 1 over 2 w naught is 3 into x minus a so a is equal to 0 so x minus a power x minus 0 power 2 okay so we will we can write this equation as 40.5 x minus 3 over 2 into x square plus 22.5 into x minus 3 power 1 so this equation is this is equation number 1 which is for shear force and this is for bending moment now in our first part we have been asked to find the magnitude and location of maximum bending moment so you have to find the maximum bending moment and we know that maximum bending moment i will write it maximum bending moment occurs where shear force is equal to zero so what we will do is that put uh, v is equal to zero in equation one so we will see that this is three feet distance from point a to b clear so for x is greater than three feet x is, is from x is greater than three feet and less than 15 feet there is a point where the shear force will be equal to zero let this point is xd so we will find it xd is greater than 3 feet and less than 15 feet so maximum bending moment occur where shear force is equal to 0 so we'll put it in this equation which is v is equal to 40.5 because x power 0 is 1 plus 22.5 into x minus 3 power 0 minus 3 x so we will put it v is equal to 0 so it will be equal to 40.5 this plus 22.5 this term will also be equal to 1 because anything power 0 is 1 so minus 3 we will replace this x with d because we are going to find the distance at which shear force is equal to 0 so from here 3 x d is equal to 40.5 plus 22.5 and xd will be equal to this is 41 uh, 40.5 plus 22.5 is 63 so 3 into xd is equal to 63 i think we have made any mistake let me check it over here this is correct because the load is upward this load is 22.5 is downward so you can see this equation is minus p into x minus a power 0 for downward so it should be negative so let me to correct it this is negative and this is also correct so here we will also rectify this is also negative because you can see this w is uh, this this 22.5 load is acting downward so for downward we have my mi minus p into x minus 1 okay so what we will do is that this is this will also negative okay so this will be negative and this will be also negative that will be equal to 18 so from here you will find the location of the point d which is six feet from the start and at this point uh, at a distance of six feet there the shear force will be zero and we will get the maximum bending moment now put xd is equal to six feet in equation two so we will get maximum bending moment that will be equal to 40.5 x will be replaced with xd 6 feet minus 3 over 2 6 square plus 22.5 into x 
6 minus 3 is 3. Clear? So when you solve this, you will get the maximum bending moment will be equal to 1 to 1.5 kips into feet. And if you want to convert it into inch, so 121.5 into 12 will convert this kip into inch. So the value of maximum bending moment will be equal to 1458 kip into inch. So this is the answer of our first part. These two are the answer of our first part. Now we will move towards second part and second part is that find the most economical white flange that can be used. And we have been given allowable stresses 24 KSI. So let me write it. We have allowable stress is 24 KSI. We have maximum bending moment that we have calculated here is 1458 kip into inch. And we have to find most economical white flange beam. Okay, so we know that uh, allowable stress is equal to maximum bending moment divided by minimum section modulus. So from here we will get this minimum section modulus will be equal to maximum bending moment divided by allowable stress. So put the value of uh, this uh, maximum bending moment and allowable stress. So 1458 divided by 24 KSI. So 24, when you divide it, so you will get 60.75 cubic inch. So this is minimum section modulus. Now what we will do is that we will go to the table that is given at the end of book. I will show you at the end of book, you have to go to the white flange beams, property of roll section, and then you have to choose the US customary. Clear? So let me choose a pen. Okay, so you can see this is the section modulus. So the value was 60.75. So that we will choose those beam which are near to 60.75. So one thing is that you can see this is nearest to 60. So W21 into 44. 21 into 44. So I will write it. The first one is W21 into 44 having section modulus is 81.6 cubic inch. This is section modulus. This is beam, W beam. So we have one option is this. Now we'll move toward another one. The second one is you can see here is this one is closer. I think there is a problem. Okay, you can choose it. I will write some of the values which I will, which you can see 18 by 50, it will have 88.9 cubic inch. The third one is W16 by 40, that is 64.7 cubic inch. The fourth one is W14 multiplied by 43, having section modulus 62.6 cubic inch. The fifth is W 12 into 50 that is having 64.2 the sixth is w 10 into 68 having 75.7 cubic inch in this way you can have many option for selecting white flange beam but we have been asked to find the most economical white flange beam so you can see the most nearest value is this one clear this is the most nearest but 
and this W 14 into 43 this is the uh, this is pounds per feet this is the weight of this beam pound in 14 pounds per feet so we we have to select a lesser weight and among all these options so you can see this w 16 into 40 is having smallest weight per feet and its section modulus is 60.4 which is also greater than the minimum section modulus so what we will choose we will choose w16 by 40 is the economical wide flange beam for the loading shown and allowable normal stress is 24 ksi so this is the answer of our question and that was all about this problem 5.115 i hope you like that and you have learned it uh, always remember that while solving this problem you have to be very careful because a, a small mistake can put you in trouble if you have any question you can ask me in comment section and if you have any uh, problem related to the singularity function you can tell me i will share you the link of that lecture that i have explained in detail and you will definitely find it interesting and knowledgeful again thank you so much for uh, subscribing my channel and liking me